guys. Today I've got an upper body workout for you that'll take you just under 15 minutes to complete. We're gonna break this workout up into three circuits. For each circuit, I'm gonna give you four exercises. You'll do them each for 30 seconds back to back. We'll rest and then we'll repeat them. We'll rest again and then we'll move on to the next set. If that sounds confusing, don't worry. As always, I'm gonna give you a little preview of the exercises before we jump in, so you'll always know what's coming next. All you'll need for this workout is a resistance band loop or a mini band as they're called. Um, as far as resistance goes, I would go medium to heavy. Uh, you don't wanna go too heavy because we will be doing some exercises where I'll want you to get your arms straight and lifted. That being said, you don't wanna go super light for this one either because we'll be mixing in some smaller movements um, and smaller ranges of motion. I always get asked what resistance band loops that I use. Honestly, I just ordered a cheap set off Amazon, but they do the trick. Um, I think it comes with five, all of different weights. So I'll link to those below if you're curious. I love mini bands because they're so versatile and they're so small. So if you're traveling, this is so easy to pop into your suitcase and they pack a punch. Like this workout's quick, but don't sleep on it. Your arms are gonna be on fire by the end. As with all workouts, make sure you're properly warmed up beforehand. Always listen to your body and modify or stop as needed. I don't play music in the background of my workouts because I want you to be able to listen to whatever music you like. So if you don't have a playlist queued up, you might wanna get that going. And if you're all ready to go, let's get to it. Okay, so for this first one, we're gonna start with a lateral raise on the right. Um, the stationary hand is gonna go inside the loop and the working hand, I like to put it on the outside. You could try gripping it on the inside though. Stationary hand is gonna press down and then the working arm is gonna lift up straight to the side and slowly lower down. We're remember, remember, there we go. We're in each exercise for 30 seconds. All right, so when you do this lateral raise, it's about quality, not quantity. So I don't care how many reps you get in, I want you going controlled. Lift up slowly, and then don't just let that resistance band loop whip your arm down. You are controlling on the way down too. So it's, you're really working in both directions. All right, switch it to the other side. Now I'm gonna say this a million times throughout this workout. Anytime you do standing arm work, you need to make sure that you have a supportive base. So you have a soft bend to your knees, don't lock them out. And you also wanna make sure that you're engaging through the core. So think of knitting your ribs together and pulling the low abs up and in a bit. As you do this lateral raise, make sure you're not shrugging your shoulder up to your ear. So think about trying to relax the neck. Okay, we're gonna come to a shoulder press, lat pull down combo. So hands go inside the loop, your palms face forward, shoulder press overhead, keep tension on the loop, and then lat pull down, drive those elbows back. So we're going up and over our head. Now very important on this one, I want you to notice as you do that lat pull down, are you puffing out through your rib cage and arching into your back? You don't wanna do that. So knit those ribs together like I was saying, maintain that solid core as you do that pull down. Ooh, I don't know if you can see my arm shaking on that one, but they are. Hold at the top, guys. We're gonna alternate that lat pull down now. 30 seconds here, and then you're gonna get a 15 second breather before we repeat that series. My arms are on fire. Hopefully yours are too. It also could be because this is the second time I'm filming it. I did not hit record the first time, so I'm doing this twice today. and rest, shake it out, 15 seconds. So we're just gonna go through those four moves one more time. All right, lateral raise, right arm works. So use your breath to help you out on this one. You'll notice I'm exhaling as I reach that arm up. I'm trying not to too forcefully because I know it goes right into the mic, but <laughs> 
It helps. Switch sides. Remember, control is the name of the game. So lift up, control on the way down. Check in with your base. Are your knees locked out? If they are, I need you to bend them softly. Core is engaged as well. Okay, shoulder press to lat pull down. Palms face forward. Keep tension on the band the whole time. So as you press up, you're still pulling apart, pull apart, pull apart. Drive those elbows down. So your lats are the area of your back that are kind of under your armpits. So think of your shoulder blades kind of making a V shape sliding together and down your spine as you do that lat pull down. Under a minute and then we can kiss this set goodbye. Hold at the top guys. Ooh, now just 30 seconds. Knit those ribs together, soft bend to those knees. Drive that elbow down, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Resist back up. This pull down is behind your head, not in front. So really hit the lats oh, and shake it out. All right, I'm gonna give you a quick preview of the next four moves. Same structure, different exercises. Okay, so for this lateral rotation, we're gonna isolate one side at a time. The stationary side, you're gonna put it in the loop and you want the loop just below your wrist. Don't put it right on the joint. And then the other side, you could have the moving hand in the, ba the band, but I find it slips, so I'm gonna grab it on the outside of it. Again, soft bend to your knees, knit those ribs together, core stays engaged. From here, we're just going to rotate the target side out to the side. So I'm keeping the elbow and tight to the side of my body and it's just a tight rotation. Now if this feels too easy, take your stationary side and just move it out a little wider. That's going to increase the tension. So that arm is staying at a 90 degree bend and where you just pull it apart and back to center. Now as you pull it out wide, remember don't puff out through the rib cage and arch into your back. Core needs to stay tight the whole time. Switch sides. And again, when we're doing these single arm exercises, you might notice a big difference one side to the next. Like this side right now is crushing it for me. That first side was a little bit of a struggle. That's normal. We tend to be dominant on one side. Okay, now we're gonna come into a bent raise. So I want both hands in the loop. The band is just below the wrist and keeping your arms at that 90 degree bend, you're gonna lift them up, rotate. So look, palms face the floor, they rotate down, palms facing towards each other. So we're just lifting those elbows up to shoulder height, maintaining that L shape. Woo, that burns, there we go. And down to your sides. Remember, don't let that resistance whip your hands back in. You're going slow and controlled on the way down too. All right, now we're holding at the top. We're gonna do a little high row. So now we're driving those elbows back, resisting. This is a small movement. Look, elbows slide back. I'm thinking about squeezing the top of my shoulder blades together. It's just a couple inches back, resist. But we gotta keep those fists out wide, maintain tension on that cable that resistance band. I think I'm teaching at B-Tone. I keep messing up the name. Woo, I'm shaking. Last few seconds. And rest, shake it out. You have 15 seconds and then guess what? We get to do that again one more time through those four exercises.
All right, lateral rotation on the right. So think of opening up through the chest as you rotate open. If you're doing this with hunched shoulders, you're not gonna feel this properly. So this is also a good time to do a little posture check. Roll your shoulder blades down your back. Keep the chest proud. Switch sides. I gotta work on the, my, uh, that side for me. Keep it going. Stay strong through the, through the stationary side too. So this side, yeah, it's not moving. It's still working though. We're going to come into that bent raise. So start, forearms stay parallel at the bottom, and then peel them apart, lift those elbows up. So you maintain the 90 degree bend in your elbows. We just rotate, lifting them up and down. Oh man, this last minute is going to burn, but then we get a longer rest. Now, when you lift up, don't bring your shoulders up to your ears. So let's make sure we try to relax the neck. I know easier said than done. Hold at the top, guys. We've reached the last 30 seconds. It's that high row, that little pull, driving the elbows back, squeezing the upper shoulder blades together. Check in on your core, guys. Knit those ribs together. Don't arch into your back. You don't want to hyperextend through that low back. Pull that band into your chest. Drive those elbows back. Keep the forearms far apart, though. Woo, this one is making me shake. You notice I'm closing my eyes. <laughs> oh, I'm done. That was a killer. Okay, we got one more set to get through. I'm going to show you a little preview, new four exercises. Oh, All going to be overhead stuff so if in this workout you notice that you're unable to maintain that posture and your low back starts to hyperextend like this you start to arch into the back do this section seated okay this one can totally be done seated we're gonna have the band right below our wrists we're gonna bring the elbows up to shoulder height they're bent at 90 degrees and we're gonna start with a shaper on the right so we're just peeling that elbow open. It's very similar to that lateral rotation we did in the previous section, but now our elbows are lifted up to shoulder height and back to center. Control wide and center. I'll show you from the side. I'm looking out my window right now. My neighbors think I'm crazy filming these workouts in my apartment. They're probably like, what's going on in there? <laughs> Switch sides. So try to relax the neck as you do this again. I don't want the shoulders scrunching up to your ears. We kind of relax the neck, keep them down in a natural position. We're gonna come into a shoulder press with a pull apart. We're gonna keep the palms facing in towards each other. Keep those forearms wide. You're gonna reach up overhead, pull apart at the top, resist in, bring back down just to about 90 degrees if you can. So this is where the burn is really gonna start building up. Two minutes is a long time to keep those arms overhead like we're doing with tension. So if this gets to be too much, you drop the elbows all the way down for that press, then bring them back up. Otherwise though, you just drop them to armpit height and guess what, you gotta go back to the top. Woo, okay, now we're gonna bring them down to 90 and we're just gonna pull apart. So it's kinda like that shaper we were doing isolating one side, but now it's both together and resist. All right, what's going on with your posture, guys? Check in, knit those ribs together, core is engaged, soft bend to your knees if you are standing. Almost there, we're almost to that 15 second break. Keep the elbows at armpit height, you can do it. All 
Oh, and drop. Yikes, we gotta do that again. <laughs> okay, we're coming into your final two minutes of this workout. So my upper body's on fire. Hopefully yours is too. Oh, deep breath, let's commit to it. All right, two minutes, everything you got. Let's go, start with that single arm shaper. Oh man, I can already tell this is gonna be a struggle. <laughs> I'm right there with you guys, as you can notice by me, by my facial expressions and me grimacing and closing my eyes. It's worth it though. Just think how good you're gonna feel when this is done, how accomplished you'll feel. Switch sides. So even though this arm is staying still, it's still working. You're locking yourself into place with it. So the arm doesn't really get a rest. Okay, into that shoulder press. Keep your forearms parallel to each other. They're gonna to wanna to come in here. I need you to keep tension on that loop. We reach up, you pull apart. In, you lower. When you pull apart, it doesn't have to be a huge movement. Resist still tension and lower. Okay, here we go, getting a little shaky. Now, especially on this one, when we're going overhead, I need you to check in on your core, on that posture. Up, apart, solid through the core. Okay, here we go, guys. Hold it 90, last 30 seconds. Pull apart, pull apart. I'll show you from the side. It's small, it's a pulse. Ugh. We're keeping that 90 degree angle. You just pull those elbows wide, wide, trying to keep the wrists stacked over the elbows as you do it. All right, final push, stay with me. Oh, done, shake it out. Oh God, this little guy packs a big punch, huh? <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that workout. And if you did, you know the drill. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys here next week.